It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood outside of the Imagination Station. A beautiful day to imagine it. The Triceratops is roaring, the wind is rustling the leaves, some molten wax is smoking. What's going on here, Carl? Well, it's holiday time. Uh, one of the things you should have in your home is a fire extinguisher. Go get one. Buy the biggest one you can afford. Don't hide it under the sink, behind everything you want. It's someplace where you can actually get to it. So easy to use, okay? There's an acronym called PASS, P-A-S-S. -S. You pull the pin, you aim at the base of the fire, in this case, the videographer, you squeeze the handle and sweep, okay? That's how you use a fire extinguisher. Pin, aim, squeeze, squeeze. Pull, aim, squeeze, sweep. Okay? Squeeze, sweep. <laughs> squeeze, sweep. Sweep at the base of the fire. Okay, so people are gonna be, you know, cooking stuff during the holiday time. So we're, we're actually gonna try to cook up something here. I've got a little outdoor burner here. Let's see if we can light that up. The wind isn't cooperating <laughs> with us. That's okay. All we'll right. pretend we've got <laughs> some toast that we're cooking outside, all right? Problem is. I think it's going. Okay, is it going? Excellent, okay. So we're, we're cooking some toast, you're in your kitchen, and something goes wrong. And the thing that goes wrong is somehow the toast may catch on fire. It's so, toast flambe. Right, so flambe toast, maybe you can't see it. I think it's kind of on fire. But Tony, imagine, imagine the toast is on fire. Okay. <laughs> what do you do with your I, fire extinguisher? I pass. You, you pass, here, let me hold this. Oh, Go right. ahead, do it. All right. So you're gonna aim, squeeze, and sweep. And do it again, right. This is not what you want to do. Right there, you just launched the flaming <laughs> toast into the curtain, into the wallpaper. I did I don't not. know what. Okay, so this may not be the best application for a fire extinguisher. You set me up, in Mom. The home. However, over here, I've got a pan of oil. And we're gonna try to heat this oil up past the smoke point. The smoke point is where the oil starts to break down. And if you're cooking, it's gonna have a bad odor, aroma. You're gonna just wanna start over again. Once we get past the smoke point, though, there's something called the flash point, which is where tiny flames could start to dance on the surface of the oil because you're getting so much vapor. Okay? I'm stepping back because of the wind. Okay. <laughs> right, because we have oil inside here. Yeah. It's, it's getting very, very hot. You can see it's clearly smoking. I want to make sure we get it really hot because we're not going for smoking. We're not going for... Um, we're actually going for the fire point. Yeah, this is the dramatic effect. This is the right. fire point. We so I've heard sure. it called kindle point before, too. Well, it's the flash, flash point, point because you might get a few flashes. We can test it. We're going to see what would happen if we add the flame to the top here. Okay. Anything? I don't think we're there yet. We're going to keep heating this up. We're going to try to get it very, very hot. We want to get to that fire point because I want you want to ignite the oil in the pan. And this, this could potentially happen, scenario. sure, to you if you're cooking at home on a People stove. Are, are you deep frying turkeys, things like that, yep. would be very, very dangerous. Let's see, are we at the fire point yet? I think we're at the flash point. I saw a little bit of flame yeah, staying I saw it up too. there. Okay. The wind outside is really not helping us. We'll take this, this time here to remind everybody that you can come on down to the Imagination Station today. The hours are up on your screen. Of course, they're always located at One Discovery Way downtown, and they're here for you to learn. It's all about the fun of science. So let's come on back exactly. here and see this very serious demonstration, which is it's entertaining in a way, but it's also a demonstration to show you right. there's the danger. There's the danger right there. We get fire burning inside there, and we're at the fire point. Tony, I want you to take one of these things. We're going to step back. We're way too close. We're okay. going to step back. Never, ever attempt this. We're going to add water to a fire. It's blowing right at us. It, well, okay, let's try it. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> that is not what you want to have happen. Once we add the water... Yeah. It does nothing. Right? The water does nothing. The, the water is actually doing something very it's dramatic. It's making it worse. The water is heating up. It's turning into steam. The water is then ejecting the burning oil oh, all over your kitchen. Splashing all over, splashing. sure. So you never, ever add water to a burning pan of oil. In right. both of these situations, your friend is this guy. The lid. The lid. Put the lid on. Put the lid on either pan. Don't try to pick them up and move them. You're just going to spill burning oil. It's a pro tip for those of you making saganaki for the holidays. Absolutely. <laughs> and that's how you.